I like technology. I'm not that good with it. I don't want to brag about being stupid, but I might have voted for Donald Trump if he'd have told me that I would never have to download Adobe Flash Player ever again. <laughs> Please make it stop. I can't be the only one having this much trouble with Adobe Flash Player. I'm pretty sure last week Adobe Flash Player told me I needed Adobe Flash Player to use Adobe Flash Player. Please make it stop. But he did not promise that, so he's a racist psychopath. Again, I love doing this, that joke for millennials. They're just like, you just go into preferences and you can shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just give me another flash player. Not in favor of self-driving cars. I think that's a bad idea. First of all, nobody in this room has ever felt confident sitting down on a toilet with a sensor on it. Never one time. Yeah, because you knew you were going to get the fire hose. You knew you were going to get public toilet water inside your body. And it doesn't leave you. You don't come back from that. I got toilet water from the Milwaukee airport from six years ago inside me right now. But that's what we're doing with our inventions. We're putting toilet water inside each other. I don't know, I think we'd are, we, don't, we can no longer tell the difference between an invention and an idea. <laughs> Used to be easier, you know? Here's a question, which came first, the hose or the straw? <laughs> I didn't know either, but I was pretty sure I could invent the second one. <laughs> it's the same thing, it's just smaller and backwards. I looked it up, it was the hose. The hose was patented in 1668. The straw wasn't patented until 1885, which means that for over 200 years, people walked around like assholes, drinking their gin tonics through a goddamn garden hose. Because they lived in a magical time when, <laughs> when there was no difference between ideas and inventions. Uh, anything could happen back then, you know? And people had shame and humility, and they didn't think that they could run up and patent a short, straight, backwards hose for their gin and tonics. <laughs> Before sliced bread. That's when that was. A magical time. They always talk about since sliced bread. They won't shut the fuck up about everything <laughs> that happened since sliced bread. But can you imagine what it was like living in a time when portioning a loaf of bread made you a force for change in the world? <laughs> Oh my God, what else was still available? You know, it's a magical time. Since sliced bread, nothing. Nothing worth a fuck. If the twist tie, fine, the twist tie. You need the twist tie, otherwise your sliced bread's all over the floor. Couple things, what, white out? Oh good, you figured out that selling a gallon of paint in half ounce bottles was gonna be. <laughs> profitable for your families. Now your grandson gets laid in Cancun three times a year. Congrats on your patent, but kindly go fuck yourself. A lot of supply side inventions, you know. Not anything that we need, just something that somebody came up with and got, somehow got into the market, and that's what we're stuck with now, you know. Blankets with sleeves. <laughs> Bottled water and shit. Supply side inventions. I don't know how some of this shit may... You can look me in my fucking face and tell me that the market demanded self-driving toilets, okay? Look me in my fucking face and tell me that at a bowling alley, you need self-driving toilets. You can't even keep doors on the stalls. I'll flush the toilet at a bowl. I rented the shoes. I'll flush the toilet at a bowling alley. Whoosh, whoosh. I got it every time. I don't need... Spare me the public enema, thank you. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. We're putting toilet water in each other. 
I don't know who's inventing this shit. I know, who invented, I know exactly who invented the automatic toilet flushing system. <laughs> His name is John T. Barrett, patent number US479179. I Googled it in the bathroom stall with my pants around my ankles because I want him dead and I want his family dead. <laughs> you are putting toilet water inside me, friend? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Buddy, you do not deserve your mansion. I'm sorry. We already had self-driving cars. They're called trains. Trains. That's what trains are. That's what they're gonna walk this back to. Because these things, the robots are gonna keep killing people and they're gonna have to keep, they're gonna, what, well, what if we put them in a row? On a track, we'll put them on a track. Oh, that was trains? Okay, that was trains. Has anybody got the patent on trains yet? Oh, cool. What about trains with sleeves? Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, see, that back then, anything was possible. Leonardo da Vinci got credit for over 500 inventions. Most of them were just drawings in a notebook. I think that's awesome. I also think the word doodle hadn't been invented yet. Because that's not how shit works now. The reason is he, was a, he, was, he lived an amazing life. He was a military contractor and a member of a painter's union. Oh, wow. That life, that life does not exist anymore. You either fly drone strikes or you like watercolors. You either murder people with robots in the sky or you paint sailboats. Can't do both, not anymore. You wanna murder people with robots in the sky, the first thing they do is make you turn in your watercolors. The military knows, painters make shitty killers. Also, if your painters are your killers, there's not much left to fight for. <laughs> but can you imagine that? Getting credit for just, just being in history for your, your trapper keeper? <laughs> the patent troll, that's what he invented, the patent troll. God forbid you made a prototype of a tank out of iron and steel. Sorry, uh, Leo da Vinci drew a picture of a rifle sticking out of a turtle shell. So we're gonna go ahead and give him credit for the weapon that wins World War II. Uh, once you take your non-functioning lawnmower back to the river, peasant. We still let one guy invent everything though, Steve Jobs, uh, you know. There's a perfect example, a good invention, the iPhone, changed society. Supply side invention, the iPhone screen. Because now all you iPhone people are trapped. You have to go to the Apple store twice a year because it's the new DMV and <laughs> you got to get, you get your screens fixed. I've never seen an Android with a cracked screen. I've never seen an iPhone that didn't look like it had been beaten with a sock full of nickels. <laughs> you people are viewing the world through the shattered windshield of a fatal car crash. I could throw my phone out the window of a moving car. It would bounce back into my hand mid-conversation.